Welcome back to part two of some common interior design textures. You may have seen my videos on TikTok, but this is the longer version that you guys can follow along. And today we're going to be doing brick fur water roof tile terrazzo, black marble, herringbone flooring, and cobblestone. First up, you're going to do that brick pattern. So you can take any fine liner and you can use a ruler if you'd like, or you can do it freehand. After I'm taking a terracotta colored marker and just laying down the base coat, I chose to move the marker horizontally since the bricks are laid out horizontally versus if I did vertical strokes, then there'd be kind of streaks that go up and down. And next, just to create some dimension, I'm going over the vertical lines of the brick and then also just the horizontal part at the bottom. After that, I'm taking the chisel tip side of the marker and just highlighting certain bricks again just to make it look a bit more random and then i'm just taking another color br2 and again highlighting some other bricks just to create some variation then i'm just going over the bottom part of the brick and the vertical lines once again after that take a white gel pen and highlight the vertical parts of the brick and then lightly kind of go over the top part of the brick lightly with the white gel pen and you can do the same thing with a white pencil crayon with fur i'm gonna first create a gradient using three different colored markers kind of in the light brown range so what you're gonna do is when you put down the darker color you use the lighter marker to go back on top of the darker color just to blend it out and create more of a gradual gradient you can see here i'm using the color dull ivory to try to go back on top of that medium brown now the colors are kind of more far apart so it's not really going to be a seamless blend but it's just going to blend a little bit better next taking a brown pencil crayon i'm going to start creating the little bits of fur you can also use a white pencil crayon and darker brown one and alternate between all three and then keep adding more hair you know you can keep going over it again and again until you get kind of a really thick texture as you can see here i get a bit lazy so i'm not making it that full next up we have water you know sometimes you could be hand rendering this on your floor plan maybe there's a pool in the backyard so this could be a helpful texture for that it's water from like a top view so after putting on the base coat i'm putting these kind of randomized shapes kind of looks like a giraffe to me almost um you can definitely use a reference photo for this that definitely helps afterwards take a white pencil crayon and you're kind of creating the refraction of water or the caustics i think they're called for this roof tiling i'm gonna do a terracotta clay roof tile i think you see these kind of in california so first i'm just using a pencil and ruler to create this grid next taking a fine liner we're gonna make these little semicircles at each of the vertical lines erase the pencil and then i'm going to take wire five and put down two layers of this base coat and i'm doing vertical strokes because the roof tiles have more vertical lines and that way the streaks will dry more vertically after that using the same marker you can use the brush tip side and lay down these vertical lines you can use a ruler but i just did it freehand and then i'm taking the lighter color and putting it on top just to blend it out a bit more lastly i'm taking the yr5 again and adding some shadows to these semicircles and then going in with a white gel pen to add a bit of highlight to certain tiles Terrazzo is a super popular composite material. Here I'm putting down two layers of a base coat and you can choose any color scheme you want. I'm just doing mine gray for the background. Next, taking a black fine liner, I'm just creating the little chips and then also using kind of a peach color, a darker orange color and a white gel pen for the rest of them. Black marble is a fun one and a pretty simple texture to draw. You just need to create that base layer. I did two coats. And then using a reference photo, that is definitely very helpful. Um, a reference photo and a white gel pen, you're going to create the veining of the marble. For the veins, you can notice that some veins are thicker and some are thinner. So just press harder and add a few more strokes for the thicker veins. Herringbone flooring is super popular these days. Um, taking a ruler, you're going to create a grid system. Oh, this one's about five by five, I think, or whatever I could fit in there. And then you're going to connect all the diagonals. And then you're going to take a black fine liner to define each of the wood planks. I think I use three squares for each plank and then you can just kind of figure out the pattern from there. 
then choose an appropriate brown color you want for your wood flooring this one i'm doing more of like a light oak color and lastly you can just use some pencil crayon to add some wood grain and definition to each of the wood planks lastly we have cobblestone so i'm putting down a base coat using a neutral gray and then using the same marker to create each of the stones the next color is more of a warm gray so there's just a bit more of a variation in the cobblestones and then i'm finishing it off with a dark gray use the same marker to create the shadow for each of the stones i'm just assuming that the sunlight is coming from the right side so i'm putting the shadows on the left you can add a little bit of highlight using white pencil crayon and there you go there's eight different textures that you can use in your art projects